This is probably one of the simplest, cheapest ways to attach a GoPro to a fishing line to get underwater fishing footage. I used a helmet extension arm that came in a GoPro accessory kit because that's what we had laying around the house, but they're not that expensive to buy if you need to. And then I got a waterproof housing to put my GoPro in since the GoPros are only rated to 33 feet of depth and this is rated to about 150 feet. So I'm just gonna show you real quick how I attached the line through the, the helmet extension arm and rigged it up on my fishing rod. So this is the pivot attachment and we're just gonna put this on this end. And then we're gonna take our monofilament and go down through that hole right there. And then I don't, there is another opening right here that we're going to slide it through. And we're going to twist this around a couple times and then go back down through that hole. Pull it tight. We'll attach our GoPro down on the bottom. And you're gonna want it to be facing like this, upside down. We're gonna take our monofilament and it's just gonna go down through one of these openings in there. So the good thing about the helmet extension arm is that it gives you two points of contact and having those two points prevents the camera from spinning and having them further apart, like in this case, they're about nine inches apart, that gives it a greater tension and that tension prevents the axis from rotating. So I try to put the GoPro about 12 to 14 inches away from the highest lure because the minimal focal distance for the GoPro is 12 inches. And the other thing that you want to make sure you do is you want the leader line with your lures to be a lighter test than the line attaching your GoPro. Because if you get snagged on something on the bottom, you want to lose your lures, but not your GoPro. So we've got 100 pound test on the GoPro line section. And then we have 50 pound test on the lure section. One thing that I would note about these is that I'm just gently dropping these down in the water and jigging with them. And they're held together by this uh, snap up here. And while it's relatively sturdy, we're not hucking this out into the water really violently or aggressively. Um, we're not casting it into the surf. So I don't know how sturdy these would be under that situation. They work great for, for jigging and from the boat, but just something to be aware of. Overall, I love this setup. It's quick, easy, cheap, and takes some pretty cool underwater footage. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more fishing, underwater footage, or catch and cook videos. Tight lines, my friends.